The next program you're going to need, all you guys in there, we're talking about this VB uh, audio, virtual audio cable thing here. It works great. Um, I installed it. I didn't change anything. I left everything the way it was defaulted. I mean, there's some stuff you could change in there, but I just left it alone. Okay. Let's see something here. All right, so that's that. All right, the next one is the Virtual Serial Ports Emulator. I got the 64-bit. What you're going to do on this one is you're going to go over to Device, hit Create, drop-down menu, and hit Pair, and hit Next. Okay? You're going to highlight this and hit Play. That'll connect to COM1 and COM2. And then you'll see it say initialized. Don't don't mind this stuff right here. It's just going to say COM1, COM2, initialized. Unless you have COM3, COM4, uh, next or whatever. That's what you want. So remember that, COM1 and COM2, right? So the next thing you're going to do is go inside Thetis on the serial network and CAT. And what you want to do is... I'm not going to uncheck this because it'll screw things up. But once this is unchecked, you could select down your comp. Don't worry about this as comp two. I, this is not needed. I just put that I was messing around. This is the one you want right here. Com one. You want to make this com one the first one in the pair, right? So com one, thirty-eight four hundred. I used. I remember I said eight one none. That's the same thing as Omni rig, right? Same thing. Comp. Well, this one says comp two, but I'll tell you in a minute. But the 8, 9, and 1, that's exactly what we want here, too. 38, 4. 38, 4. All right, so once that's all set, don't touch nothing else here. You want to go to your audio cables. Okay? That VB audio cable thing I showed you, this right here, is here. Input, VB. Output, VB. Make sure they both say that. You're going to lose the sound. Um, if somebody can figure out how to get the sound with these, let me know. But that's okay. I don't really don't like to listen to FT anyway. It's like listening to a fax machine all day. Kind of gives you a headache. But that's that. I mean, I could probably enable this one for sound. Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right. Anyway, so we'll keep that like that. Okay. Got that, got that. Beautiful. So the next thing is WSJTX. So we're going to bring that up real quick. As you can see, I got some signals here coming in. There you go. They're popping up. Uh, settings. Put your radio information in here. Call sign, your grid, all that good stuff. On radio, you could use TS2000 or 480. Here's the two, the the other pair to this uh, to this other virtual port. See, it says COM1, COM2. The two is here. This is where it goes in the, in the WSJTX. Put it on CAT. To get this COM2 in here, you have to hit one of these input COM2, but I don't think it's necessary. I just did it anyway. Board rate, 38.4, as you've seen, I put in other places. Transmit audio source, front mic. Mode and split operation, both none. Default, default, default. All default right here. COM2. Okay, then you can hit your test and your cat should work fine. Okay. Um, I will work a station here too. So, to reiterate a little bit again, right? COM2 and Omni rig. Com2 in WSJTX. The only part of that pair of the Com1, right, goes in your setup in here, Thetis. And then you enable the cat for cat1. So that's where your one goes. The two goes on the other ones. All right. That's all done. I'm going to do, let me go back to. WSJTX. What we're going to do here is we're going to just uh, do a quick tune. And you see, transmitting. Mox is keyed up. 
I'll move this to like right here. There we go. Transmitting. Okay. So let's try to work a station. Right now I have the Hermes going into my Tokyo High Power. Doing about eh, 40 watts. Let's see. Let's see what we could work out here. And also, you know what? Let me not forget. Um, make sure you sync your time. This is in Windows. Just type in time date and it'll pop up you. And just hit this. Sync now. Make sure you sync everything. That is so crucial, man. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can work somebody here on 20. Just got this set up on the Hermes, so let's see. Somebody close. Let's try, uh, let's try the Netherlands. All right. We're doing about 40 watts from the uh, Tokyo High Power HL45B. Cute little amp. Great fat. This is, that amp is perfect for FTH, so if you can find one, grab it. All right, let's see what we got. We don't work him, work somebody else. It's all good. Let's get somebody. Oh, you know, I'm gonna halt this real quick because I don't know if he's too far. I usually run my grid tracker. Let me bring up my grid tracker only because I get to see what the deals are here. Let's see something here. All right. Let me just bring this over here for one second. And again, thank you to everybody who put comments on my video, subscribed. You guys are the best. That's what we. That's what us hams do. We all stick together. By the way, Grid Tracker, a, a must, a must. Here's, chat message. here's the other part of Grid Tracker. Cool little map. Isn't that nice? I love Grid Tracker. You can see all the stations working back and forth, which is pretty, pretty nice. Look at that. Isn't that nice? You put that on a big screen in the shack. You got multiple screens. You look like NASA. It's fine. It's great. It's wonderful. <laughs> all right, let me move that over. Let me just get the... Uh... Where is that Netherlands again? Let me see something here. Oh, you see? Uh, it's minus eight. It's not that far. I guess he just didn't want to work me. What a nice guy. All right, because he doesn't want to be on video. Um, let's see here. Let's get Spain. I don't know if I clicked it too late, but let's see. That's another thing where I like to hear the FT8 so I know when I can hit the PTT on that. But you can watch the, the, the meter, this meter down here, the level. You're receiving data. Meter. Let's try to do it again. Which antenna am I on? 20 meters. Yeah, I'm on the right antenna. I guess once we get a contact, we'll know if it works, right? Let's try the USA. Patiently waiting to see if it's going to work. We're all waiting. Looks like everything's going out fine, but hey, you never know with this FTA. That's kind of strange. All right, this is what we'll do then. Let's get a um, bop, 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 bop. Where are you? There you are. Let's move this guy over here for a sec. Let's look for a little spot to squeeze in. And uh, we'll just call some CQ. And see if uh, anybody hears us. How about that? All right. Well, somebody's coming. See, there's something. There's some music here. Look at that. I see some activity. What do we got, boys and girls? 
Hey! Hey, we did it, guys. The Hermes is working on FT8. Hallelujah. Got two stations came back. Yeah, how about that? All right. All right. So work this guy, work the next guy, tell him thank you. Maybe they'll see themselves on YouTube. They'll say hello to me. All right. Let's see if we get the receipt on this. Yep, yeah, we got a receipt coming up, boys and girls. There it is. 20 meters. Sent, received. Beautiful. Bing. Done. All right. We'll get the other gentleman here. Say goodbye to him. Come over to the other fellow. K0DEQ. He's on a split. All right, let's see. All right. Give him plus six if he could pick us up. So that's it. If you put those settings in, you should be should should be in business. But um and if, again, if you have any questions, hit me up. Got the uh got my email on QRZ. And then make sure I get those links to all the uh software pieces that you need, the whole puzzle in caboodle. Kit and caboodle, as they say. Um all right. Let's let's work one more. Let's see. Call CQ. <clears throat> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, there we go. Whoa, how come he came out? He oh no, that's not good. Hold that. No, no, you can't just write me off like that, pal. I hate when that happens, but it happens. I'll have to redo the C, uh, the con the contact. You see, when they just brush you off like that and just give you the receipt, I don't want a receipt like that because what happens is, and it's happened to me so many times, is that they just shoot your receipt, and then it goes into it logs into QRZ or whatever, and then. It says that they never made the contact with you. You get like a, a rejection. And it's because of stuff like that. Where you don't finish the whole transaction on FT8 and it just cuts too. Yeah, so if you ever get that receipt, my advice to you is don't take it because it's going to cause an issue. Now, if it comes up now, the receipt. All right, he has to redo it. I mean, this is craziness. Now he messed me up. So like I said, yeah, just don't take it because it's gonna it's gonna get messed up in your QRZ. It's happened to me a few times. Well, annoying, actually, it really is. Especially if it's like far away contact and you wanted to get that really. Just redo the contact, call CQ all over again, or just you know reconnect, uh, recontact him. Yeah, you know, make the connection all over again. Otherwise, it's just, yeah, it's terrible. All right, let's see. He comes back now, we'll make the connection. If not, no big deal. We'll go to another person. But <clears throat> usually if they want the um if they want the grid or whatever, they they'll call you. So yeah, that's pretty much it on the settings, like I said. Um uh, so you're gonna get the if you of course you gotta get WSJTX, right? Um but I'm assuming you already have. You got to get the Omni rig, the VB audio cable thing, and the virtual serial port emulator. Those are the three. Well, it's got one, two, three. You got those parts, right? WSJTX and your Thetas. So you're gonna run like five programs. And Grid Tracker six. That's what I run. Here's another contact here. Um, <clears throat> I'm telling you, I, I need like 16 screens. <laughs> QRZ. W WSJTX, Thetis, Grid Tracker. It's, it's out of control. Oh, this hobby is so, it's just, it's great. It really is. Best Buy loves me. 
Hey, you, get, you bought two more screens this week? Yeah. I was bored. All right, got another receipt here, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, so that's in. And there you go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. FT8 is a blast. Not a lot of guys, you know, a lot of guys don't like it, whatever. It's not really ham radio. Okay. Whatever, right? But uh, I enjoy it. To me, it's ham radio. I'm on bands. I'm communicating with another station in another part of the world. I don't know. Looks like ham radio to me. All right, so we're going to get these links on the video for you guys. Any questions? I'm good on QRZ. Thank you again. 7-3. Speak soon. Take care.